This will be the last stand for the Soviets in this area of operations. They are down to four airfields and we have leaked information that we intend to strike all four of them to give a decisive knockout blow that will ground all their aircraft. After the missile strikes towards their SAM sites, the enemy will have no reason to doubt our intentions. In truth, we have no desire to risk our attack aircraft to destroy installation we must rather be using soon. For this reason, we will engage the enemy in the air. All available fighter assets will be committed in this attack. The attack will begin at 12.14 with Sukhoi 34s attacking the nearest enemy airfield with bombs. This will prevent reserve aircraft at the field to scramble and draw the enemy airborne cap towards them. At 12.15, AJS 37s, SU 27s and MiG 31s will enter the field of battle and engage the enemy combat air patrols. At this time, a VDV infiltration unit will engage and destroy the Soviet SA-10 site, giving you only the few remaining SA-2s to worry about. Thunder Flight 4 JF-17s will however engage the last remaining A-50 mainstay aircraft the Soviet have in this sector. The aircraft is patrolling between Waypoint 2 and Waypoint 3. Since we cannot guarantee victory in the air battle, speed is of the essence. Engage only enemy fighters in self-defense until the mainstay has been confirmed destroyed. The enemy can field estimated 7 to 13 MiG-29 Fulcrums and 7 to 12 MiG-23 Floggers. We also expect them to have 4 to 10 MiG-21 fish beds in reserve. The enemy only have a single mainstay. Make up traffic, this is Thunder Flight approaching runway 04. Request permission to take off. Confirmed makeup, we will depart. Rotating. Wheels up. Altitude, altitude, altitude. Flaps up. We will set our heading towards waypoint 2 and join the general radio channel 119 oxygen flow to maximum Let's reduce speed a little bit, but uh, let's keep some acceleration for the climb going. But I don't want to waste as much fuel just climbing. We should try to be at at least 20,000.
Settling the aircraft at 20,000. We are contrailing. Let's slow down a little bit while we wait for the push. Copy Beer Cub, we will push east and engage it, the enemy. Air combat mode engaged. Monster arm on. Data link set for 60 nautical miles. Igniting radar. Thunder flight, I have spotted the target. They're on the data link. And they should be within range soon. We are illuminating. That is at least three contacts. Prepare to engage. Skies are clear. Looks like that thing has escorts. Let's lock on the thing that it does not turn against us. We are going to g grab that AUX. Alright, all units. All units, clear to engage bandits. Missiles are away. I got locked on the primary target. Fox free one one zero hostile. Warning. Shooter second Fox free one zero nine hostile. Shooter one o oh, six hostile Fox free. Shooter one o oh, five hostile Fox free. One would think that four missiles are gonna do the job. At least I hope so. Splash the mainstay. The mainstay has been splashed. Let's see what remains. We lost some altitude. We better have a look Warning. at that. Warning. 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 Ditching the fuel tanks. If there is a lone Soviet fighter left in the area, he's behind us. Most likely engaging one of our mates. Tally bandit. Rather a possible bandit. I don't want to fire before I conf have confirmed what the hell I'm looking at. 
That looks too much like a Jeff to me. That's the MiG-21. It's popping flash. Good show, wingman. Good show indeed. Let's head for home. We are not gonna have any... We're soon going to be having fuel troubles and I don't wish to... Make those worse just yet. Disengaging. It kind of feels like we have fallen out of the sky. Our trip back drained a lot of our fuel, so... A lot of our wingmen didn't even make it back due to fuel concerns either, so... Copy makeup, we will land runway zero four. Pull up, pull up, pull up, altitude, altitude, altitude. Deploying landing gear. We're on the ground. Shoot has been deployed. And that concludes this military campaign. The Cuban security forces are victorious in this region and will no longer be flying any missions. We have achieved victory over the Soviets. Anything that remains will be merely mop. So, the mission began with a number of fullbacks engaging a runway with their bombs, and after that, the rest of us were expected to start our push. Now, the air combat that ensued was chaotic, but one of the things that I kept throughout this engagement was that I decided that I wouldn't get involved in any of it. Instead, I would let the other flights handle their part of the fight and we would just keep on towards the primary target. And this strategy actually paid off rather well because our allies turned out are fairly good at cleansing the skies of enemy targets. So the only thing that was left for us to do was actually to engage the mainstay. Uh, here the fighter escort of MiG-21s uh, are breaking off to try and hinder us. But I decided I'm not having any of that. 
If we came all this way just to kill the mainstay, then killing the mainstay is what we are going to do. So, that is why I decided to fire all four of my Fox 3s on it. If we wouldn't have a second chance. I mean, I could use my gun, I could use my heat-seeking missiles, but I didn't know where the escorts were when I fired. So I had to take the decision. Then we had this little misidentification with the MiG-21, because the MiG-21 and the JF-17 are actually awfully similar. However, one of our wingmen got him in the end. So, the majority of the threats in the air were countered rather easily. Now, we did fly within range of the SA-2. I'm actually going to rewind that. And, but the SA-2 doesn't seem to have been much of a threat, really. What was the problem was that most of my wingmen actually ran out of fuel. So, they were unable to contribute to, well, the flying home part. They did contribute in anything else. However, this mission concludes Operation Black Bear, and I thank you very much for tagging along with me. And if you are interested in flying this campaign yourself, uh, there will be a link in the description, and when you see this, see this video, uh, version 1.5 that essentially has all the bug fixes that I previously never done should be implemented and your experience should be so much better for it. That is actually the entire point of this playthrough of this campaign that I decided that I'm going to fly through the campaign I'm gonna see what needs to be fixed, and I'm gonna fix it. And, well, that is what I've done. So thank you for sticking with me through this campaign, and I hope you see, to see you in the next theater of operations.